A lot of the time when people are thinking about moving into this biological approach, right. they think that they've got to go out and make enough compost, put 10 inches of compost <laughs> on all of their land, and that's the only way to do this. Yeah, not very practical. Not practical. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, where are you going to find enough right. uh, waste material to turn into that kind of, and then managing it, all you, you know, turners and big equipment right. and, and sieves and, and, and whoa, it. Oh, and right. let's not go there. So we can make a very small amount of compost. Okay. Or you could go to a composting operation and make sure that the compost they're selling you is top notch. Right. That it's got all the bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes that your soil requires. Yeah. And so you can take a very small amount of that compost, like a pound, and you can make five gallons worth of a compost tea. Right. And that five gallons will cover a whole entire acre of turf. Wow and start that process of converting that soil into a healthy soil that supports the growth of the grass, right. not, the weeds, not the weeds, not the diseases. Yeah. You then want to check that soil and see if you've gotten the biology converted to what it needs to be to support that turf in a really healthy way. Yeah.